As the rest of mankind emerges slowly from prehistory, the hidden people of Atlantis enjoy an already ancient civilization, rich in wonder and sophistication. Since the beginning of time, the moon goddess, Amu, has ruled over all things, attended by her consort, Sa'at, the sun god. As it is above, so it is below. From her palace on Atlantis, Queen Rhea rules over an island of peace and plenty, where the seasons come and go, yet time seems to stand still. Creon has been her consort for six years, and in accordance with custom, his position will be challenged a year from now. Seth, the hero of our tale is traveling to the palace where he will join the select band of Queen's companions. Although he doesn't know it, Seth is destined to face ancient mysteries and grave dangers. An adventure whose outcome may well decide the very... This is where I leave you. The companion's quarters are easy to find. Go in Amu's light. work there. I'm looking for the queen. You'll have to ask in the palace. Is the consort in the palace? I saw Gimbus going in an hour ago, so I suppose they're together. Who's Gimbus? The new high priest of Sa'at. Creon has become very religious lately. Are you a companion? No, boy. We're members of His Highness the Consort's Honor Guard. What are your duties? We're not here to talk, boy. Is this the way to the companion's quarters? Go up the steps and ask the guards near the pool. Is Her Majesty in the palace? Not today, lad. When will Queen Rhea return to the palace? We're not here to gossip with you, boy. Where is the Queen's consort? His Highness is in the palace. New companion, huh? Go up the steps and take the first door on the left. Companions quarters. You just found them. Are you looking for somebody? Not especially. I've been selected to serve as a companion. My name's Seth. Welcome, Seth. I will be with you. I'm Agatha. Is it possible to visit the palace? Her Majesty's missing. Missing? What do you mean, Lasquid? She was on the coast road with some companions, and they were attacked. Um, who attacked them? Nobody knows yet. All the companions with her were killed. Joris? Mena? Kino? All dead. And the Queen? Gone. The consort's men are investigating, and all Queen's companions are requested not to interfere. 
I'll see you later. You were out here, right? Eh? Give me some wine. Is that part of my duties? I gave you an order, boy. Get your own wine, friend. You don't know who you're talking to, boy. Is that supposed to make a difference? Why don't you get out, Meljance? I'll remember you. I'm going. Just remember the consort's orders. Stay out of the investigation. You were right to stand up to that bully, Seth. Why should the consort's men investigate the Queen's disappearance? We're Her Majesty's companions. We have a duty to do something. You're right, Seth. One of us should go to the scene of the attack and find out what happened. Who'll go? Why not you? You handled that bully Meljance, and it was your idea we should do something. Will you do it? Yes, I'll go. Where exactly did the attack take place? I don't know. She was touring the whole island, so it could have happened anywhere. You'll have to find that out. Go now, Seth. I'm be with you. Seth, I'm a Queen's Companion. I'm investigating Her Majesty's disappearance. A Queen's Companion, eh? I heard tell it was only the Consort's men who were investigating. That's true, but I am a Companion. Disobeying orders. That's what you say, laddie. I've already been questioned by the soldiers. I can't help you. So, you are a Companion. Those consort men have been pestering me with questions I wouldn't give them the time of day. But a loyal Queensman, that's different. What can you tell me about the attack? I was out fishing when it all happened, so I don't know anything about it. But before those guards on the road came along, I took a look at the place where the Queen was attacked. And I found this. Looks like an earring. What's your name? My name is Actian. I'm a fisherman. Who would want to take Queen Rhea? Can't think of anyone. Maybe they came in boats from another land. Hmm, could be. But I didn't think there were any people who knew about Atlantis apart from the Atlanteans. And I didn't notice any strange boats. His Highness the Consort might learn something from the earring. Maybe so. Then again, he might prefer not to. That's a strange thing to say. After all, he sent his men to investigate. You're probably right, laddie, but it's no secret that Creon listens to the priests of Sa'at. And they're not Rhea's most faithful subjects. The priests are not loyal? Not since they got their new high priest, Gimbas. And Her Majesty declared that Amu would always take precedence over Sa'at. The moon has always been queen of the sky, and the sun her consort. As sure as day follows night. But the priests would have it the other way around. Have you ever 
ever seen an earring like this before? Can't say I have. The workmanship is good. It isn't young Seth. The Companion's hero. The consort wants to see you. Creon? What for? What for, he says. Come on. Don't want to keep his highness waiting. Seth. Isn't it? Yes, Your Highness. Thanks to faithful Melgens here, I learned of your little... escapade. I think you'll agree that in times of crisis we need discipline. Mm -hmm. Well... Come, come. We can't have young hotheads disobeying every order they're given, can we? I've decided to overlook the incident, however, since your intentions were honorable. Please don't let it happen again. Now, did your inquiries bear fruit? No, Your Highness. I discovered nothing. Oh, that's a shame. You may return to the Companion's quarters, and remember, orders are to be obeyed. What's your name? I'm Garcelos. You wanted to ask me something? Do you think the consort will find Her Majesty? The rumor is she was taken by savages. Who knows where she is? Savages? What do you mean? Primitives from some other land. Somehow they learn about us and they... But I thought we checked on their progress. I never heard of any primitives advanced enough to find Atlantis. Maybe a boatload of them just got here by chance. Some of them travel by sea after all. Yes, I know, but you think they just happened to arrive when the Queen was passing by? And they recognized her? And decided to steal her? Look, I'm just telling you the rumor I heard. And anyway, who else could it be? Seth! I heard the guards took you to the throne room. His Highness told me to be a good boy. What else did he say? Nothing much. Did you find anything? This earring. It's strange, but I have the feeling I've already seen one like it. I can't remember. It was a story somebody told me. Looks like my investigation ends here. You're probably right. But I think you should try to find out about that earring. I think it may mean something. Scoid, aren't you? And you're Seth, the fearless investigator. I heard about your little escapade. Pity you didn't find out anything. I'm still working on it. You could get into trouble, my friend. You heard the orders. The orders are not to leave the palace. 
And asking a few innocent questions isn't exactly investigating. Well, you could be right. Some people think the consort wouldn't be all that unhappy if nobody investigated. But <laughs> I wouldn't advise you to say that to Meljance. You know Garcelos? Of course. He's a companion. Is Mel Jans a friend of yours? Why do you want to know? He seems to get on well with the consort. Well, he's never really liked being a companion. He'd rather be a guard. Have you ever seen an earring like this? You're full of surprises. As a matter of fact, I have. Where? Who was wearing it? Oh, I don't know if I ought to tell you. It's a taboo subject. I could be taking a risk by talking about it. Especially to a loyal Queen's companion. Look, I'm not going to tell the consort about it. Now tell me. All right. During the time of the last consort, a secret group was uncovered. Consort's men and priests of Sa'at. They called themselves the Sons of the Golden Ray. They wore earrings like the one you have. What did they do? They worshipped only the Sun God. Only Sa'at? And what of Amu? They claimed Amu had usurped Sa'at's power, that Sa'at was the only true God. But the Queen, she is the living symbol of the Goddess. Exactly. The Sons of the Golden Ray believed it was time to replace the Queen. Atlantis would in future have a king. That was the will of Sa'at. Luckily, they were stopped. I've got to find Queen Rhea. Listen, Seth. There's a handful of us who've suspected the Sons of the Golden Ray were plotting once again. Will you join us? I'm warning you, it could be very dangerous. Yes, I'll join you. Good. We're meeting in half an hour at the Scarlet Cockerel. It's a drinking house in the village beside the palace. I don't think the guards will let me out. Hmm. It's true, you haven't made too many friends around here. Take this. There's a secret way out of the palace, which leads directly to the village. A secret way? Where? First, I'll have to get you past the guard round the corner. The rest is going to be your little test, Seth. Get through the secret passage, and we'll know you're smart enough. I'll tell you this much. Feed the monarch when the daylight over Atlantis has vanquished darkness. Tell me when you're ready to go. I'll distract the guard. Wait a few seconds, then follow me and slip through the door. So I said, try it. And did he? What do you think?
got careless and paid for it with his life. over and we don't like you yes i'm afraid i may have given you the wrong impression you mean you're not the queen's most fervent admirers oh she'd have been perfect a few hundred years ago but the world's changing seth some of the barbarians live in cities now they have governments and armies they're building fleets of ships and all we do is watch what's that got to do with Rhea? everything the strong conquer the weak, and Atlantis is weak. One day the primitives will find us, and then... What do you want with me? <laughs> Simple. Just sit back while I cut your throat. for that. Seth got careless and paid for it with his life. I was in the drinking house. I was watching Meljance, and you came along and dropped that flower pot on Servage's head. I thought you might need some help getting away. Those people are dangerous, Agatha. They're convinced Atlantis is under threat from barbarians. The old story. Rhea refused to believe the priests of Sa'at were still plotting. For a hundred years, they've dreamed of destroying all signs of organized civilization everywhere except on Atlantis. The future terrifies them. But Sa'at is no god of destruction. The priests want power. They want Sa'at to be a god of power. They want a reason to build armies. They want to rule, Seth. And Creon's helping them? He's been the queen's consort for six years. Next year, he faces the challenge. If he's with the priests, then this is a good time to strike. If Creon ordered Rhea's disappearance, what has he done with her? Why didn't he just kill her with the companions? I don't know if he ordered the attack, but supposing he did, 
We need to find out what his plans are. And we have to find the Queen. Once she's back on the throne, the priests won't dare to try anything. How do we find out what's going on? Most of the companions are dead, and the rest seem to be traitors. There aren't a lot of people we can trust. I'll contact a few friends. You'll have to spy on Creon. Spy on Creon? I'll need to get back into the palace first. I'll see you later. In the palace orchard, under the library window. The gate is near here, but it may be locked. Until that companion, what's his name? Seth? Until he comes through his door, or until someone else gets him. Doors open! Why don't you come in? allow it. I'm a queen's companion. Seth, we know you. Silken and me. Supposed to be dead. You know who wants me dead? Silken and me know lots of things, but we don't like to tell. I want to spy on Creon. To find out where the queen is. I know where Creon is. Tell me. I might do. Silken likes you. Play a game. What kind of a game? Doesn't hurt. Wanna play, do you? We can wait to carry me, Silken. <coughs> Want to play, do you? Easy game. The Queen's lost somewhere, see? You're the hero, Seth. You have to find her. I'm the ogre. I come after you. Whoever finds the Queen wins. And I can also win by catching you. When it's your turn, you can move one or two squares in any direction. I only move one. You start, Seth. You start.
You woke up an opal. Very good. Want to spy on Crayon, that's it? Do you know where he is? Silken knows, don't you, Silken? <coughs> take him. <coughs> don't move, or Silken won't take you. Now, here's a game. Up above is the sea where the wind swims. You want to be inside its belly, of course. The companion, Seth. Have measures been taken, Highness? I gave orders. But he managed to escape. By luck or by cunning? He won't get far, Gimbus. And he can't interfere with our plans, can he? No. I don't see how he could. But he should be stopped, Highness, before he becomes... I dare not act too openly before the hidden knowledge is mine. And... Rhea? She is already at Carbonek. We control the area. I am leaving shortly. Lose no time. Rhea must be made to talk, Gimbas. She'll sing like a cage full of nightingales, Highness. Soon the knowledge will be yours. The world will learn to dread the name of Atlantis. And the glory of Sat. I'd better get to the orchard. What was that? What? That noise. Didn't you hear it? Nah. Hear it? Another noise? Like the last one. Nah. Relax, will you? Seth, 
That was quite a jump. I do it all the time. This is Carvin. I'll keep watch at the gate. Did you find out anything? The Queen's a prisoner at a place called Carbonek. The hidden knowledge. She won't talk. We'll need a flyer, Seth. Where's Carbonek? Over the sea, to the northwest. It's a sacred center, with a temple to Amu. The hidden knowledge is kept there. What's the hidden knowledge? It's power, Seth. Dangerous power. Long ago, it almost killed our people. The priestesses decided to hide it, so that no one would be tempted by it again. Carvin! Traitors! His Highness will deal with both of you personally. I need some sleep. Wake up! Who are you and what are you doing in my flyer? Where did you get that? Agatha told me to give it to you. She's dead, Hector. How? I was with her. A man called Carvin betrayed us. There was a fight. Carvin? She said you'd take me to Carbonek. What for? That's where the Queen is. She's a prisoner. That makes no sense, companion. Why would the priestesses of Amu hold her prisoner? Creon's men have taken Carbonek. I'm going to find Agatha. Where is she? In the palace orchard. She's dead, Hector. If you go there, they'll kill you too. They wouldn't have told you about the bracelet unless she trusted you. Amu help you if you're lying, companion. I want to come with you, Seth. No. Someone has to guard the flyer. And if a patrol of Creon's men shows up, I fight him off single-handed? That's the idea. Hmm. Well, try not to take all day. Just get her back here without half of Creon's men on your heels. How should I know where to look? You'll have to sneak around. Just don't draw attention to yourself.
Who are you? A companion? What are you doing here, lad? I've come to find Her Majesty and take her back to Atlantis. You can't stand there all day, you know. The place is crawling with Creon's men. There's one at the door. But you can hide behind the chest without them seeing you. Priestess's robe. Hmm. Now, how do I put this on? Hmm. Purple suits me. Where do you think you're going? Get back to your work. The soldiers must be thirsty, sister. So fast, sister. Where do you think you're going? Well, I know what you boys are like, and I thought you might be thirsty. I have to bring some to the others. Very well, you can go. Hurry up about it. I won't even stop for a rest. Seems to be working. This isn't your place, sister. Who's that for, sister? For you, boys. Give it here, then. That's fine ale. Well, you can't drink it all. Your friends are thirsty, too. No, no, you don't. Nobody leaves, especially no priestesses. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Who's that for, sister? For you, boys. Give it here, then. That's fine ale. Well, you can't drink it all. Your friends are thirsty, too. I'm not here to answer your questions, priestess. Get back to your work. This isn't your place, sister. Thirsty, soldier boy? How did you guess? What's your name, sister? Seth... Uh, Seth Anna. Do you want some more? On your way now. Hear that? Gimba sounds pleased with himself. Must have wormed what he wanted out of her. They'll be coming out any minute now. Well, that was easier than I thought. She's soft. Just like a goddess. Just like Atlantis itself. Things will be different now, Holy Lord. Yes, Commander. Very different indeed. You, Priestess. What do you want here? I've brought some ale. The Queen's not thirsty. Oh. But you must be. No. Now get away from here, and don't come back. Clear? Perfectly clear, thank you. Hmm. Not much choice. No. I need to put him where a passing soldier won't see him. Better not leave him here. What's going on? What are you doing, sister? 
I'm a companion, Your Majesty. I'm here to save you. A companion? But how can you save me? There's a flyer waiting in the forest. We'll have to hurry. But... We can't just walk out of here. The soldiers won't allow it. I'll think of a way. And why are you dressed as a priestess? It's not really allowed, you know. It's a disguise, Your Majesty, to get past the soldiers. Oh. Hmm. He's about my size. What are you doing now? Oh, you really are a man. You want me to dress as a priestess? Well, if I must. But you'll have to turn around. Consort is responsible for all this, Your Majesty. Creon is afraid. Of what? The challenge, of course. He's been consort for six years. Next year is the challenge. But if he conquers his challenger, he'll remain the consort for another seven years. He's afraid he'll lose. If not next year, then seven years later, or seven after that. One day, he must lose. I know how the challenger is chosen. He's the champion of the Summer Games. I've sometimes imagined myself winning them. And you could. You have the strength and the will. But what is the challenge, Your Majesty? What happens? That is something only the consort and his challenger may know. And I... Wait! I told them. Amu, forgive me. I told them. I don't understand, Your Majesty. Gimbus and the Commander. I told them how to find the hidden knowledge. They... They threatened to kill every priestess in Karvanek. They gave you no choice. You did what you had to. Did I? What is the hidden knowledge? It is the dark heart of mankind. A buried secret. No. No longer a secret. Amu, have mercy on us all! <gasps> You'd better take your mask off. My mask? I... I can't. None may see me without it. If they see you with it, don't you think they might recognize you? Naturally! Oh. Oh yes, of course. Very well. taking her. She was trying to see the queen. The commander ordered me to bring her to the kitchen. I wouldn't mind paying Ray a little visit myself. A good looking piece. <laughs> <gasps> How dare you! Companion, are you going to allow this man to insult me? Wasn't talking about you, priestess. And you have the insolence to deny it! <gasps> You distinctly said you wanted to pay me a little visit. What's going on here? Calm down, Your Majesty. She thinks she's the Queen. One of the others told me it happens every full moon. Oh, well, pardon me, Your Majesty. Step right into the royal kitchens, I beg of you. Ha 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 ha! Be careful. There may be soldiers in the forest. Go with Amu.
They must be looking for us. Stick close to me and keep quiet. to make your peace with Amu, soldier. Seth, what are you doing in that uniform? I'll explain later. Your Majesty, this is Hector, our pilot. An honor, Your Majesty. I don't know if you noticed, but a couple of soldiers are standing guard over the flyer. What happened? I don't know. A troll. I only just managed to slip away while they were yelling the news. Well, we can't get far without the flyer. One of us is going to have to distract their attention. Why not overpower them? No, even if we could, they'd have enough time to raise the alarm. It's too much of a risk. You've taken too many risks for me already. I don't deserve them. I've betrayed my people. You saved the lives of your priestesses, Your Majesty. The betrayal is Creon's, not yours. Perhaps. So, what do we do? Your Majesty, while I create a diversion, I want you to hide in that bush with Hector. What about you? I'll think about that when the time comes. We'll meet at the fisherman's cabin I told you about. Hey! You two blockheads! Looking for someone? There's one of them! You! Stop! This way! Come on! He can't get away! Close your eyes and they'll not see you. Who swore he came this way? Me too! Have a look around. He could be hiding. Just a cliff, only a lizard couldn't know him. Nah, he must have gone another way. Come on. You can open them now. Don't be shy, boy. Come in. I'm here, don't you worry. You owe your life to me. Yes, you do. But I won't take it from you. You can pay your debt another way. I have to find out if the Queen got away. Your Queen's gone, boy. Flown away towards Atlantis. Who are you? I'm what you see. <laughs> now, how shall you pay your debt? Hmm? What do you want? What do I want? Well now, there is something. Something that's mine. But you'd need to be clever. Are you clever, boy? Well, I... Let's find out. See that hen? Hasn't laid in ages. Four eggs. That's what I want. Just learned something about mankind, didn't you? Our wits can spin eggs from a hen. Very clever. And sly, too. I don't follow you, old woman. Who is sly? Mankind, boy. You'll see. Look at that. Put each of your eggs in a nest. Go on, show me how sly your wits can be. Each snake must steal its egg without meeting or crossing the path of any of its brothers. Each to its own and sneakily, sneakily. Go on, go on.
boy. The snake's in all of us, see? Listen now. Seek on high the feathered killers. Wash them by the beast in stone. They'll show the white one, and low will lay him. Fill the bag with blood-soaked soil, and rip from his snowy snout that which is mine. I don't understand, old one. Understand? <laughs> Why should you? Long ago, something was stolen from me, boy. And you must get it back. Search in the forest. Have you done what I told you? Here. Killing's not my favorite sport, old woman. No sport, boy. A life for a life. The ring's mine, and the blood's yours. Who are you, old woman? What's your name? <laughs> I look young for my age, child. Believe me. As for my name, the wind and the rain wore that away long since. Who am I? What am I? Do I serve your queen, her consort, your amu or your sat? Did the snake serve the hen, or was it the other way round? Yes and no, yes and yes. Childish babble. Enough talking. What you need is a good night's sleep. the eastern horizon, all Earth is filled with your power. Nai ekifer em akhet oimet. Nozbor no haj tor sid shire bij. Sid nail to ud ud
what's it saying? I don't know. You don't know? Have we wasted our time, Gimbus? Watch your tongue before the Hidden One, Commander. We shall take it to Creon and... What's it saying? Have we unearthed a parrot? Silence, you fool! We have come to free you! You have unearthed... Yes. You have been hidden for centuries by the Earthlings. We have freed you! Yes. You have freed me. Wake up, boy! We have a visitor. Know who this is? One of Creon's soldiers. What's he doing here? Hear that, boy? This moon priestess thinks you're a soldier. He's the one who saved your precious queen. But... We heard they escaped in a flyer. Not this one. He came to see me. Now he has to return to Atlantis to be with your queen. To Atlantis? He'd better be a good swimmer. Unless you've prepared one of your tricks, old one. No. One of yours. You're a bird priestess, aren't you? I can't take him. The soldiers have stolen all our flyers. Tit for tat then, eh? <laughs> There's one in the forest, down by the stones. Up, oh, boy. It's time to flap your wings. What you saw in the circle of stones was only the start. I see danger to your people. And not only them. You have to stop it. What danger, old woman? The Queen's in Atlantis. She'll be safe with Hector. Destruction. Destruction's the danger. Listen now. Long ago, a treasure was hidden for me in the palace of Atlantis. You'll find it near the Tree of the First. It's for you. Here, take this. What am I supposed to do with it? Will you let me finish, child? Whenever you don't know what you should be doing next, sprinkle some of the powder from the flask onto the treasure. There's not much, so don't be wasteful. We should hurry. I'll follow you. You don't want to land at the palace, do you? No. There's a fisherman's hut some way from the town. I'll show you. this? Become a consort's man, have you? No, it's a disguise. Ah, a good one too. I'm glad to see you, lad. I'm exhausted, Actio. But I have to get to the palace to look for something. You're in no fit state to find anything. What you need is sleep. You're right. Sleep well, little lad. Feeling better? <sighs> Thanks for the bed, Actian. I don't suppose you got much sleep. Oh, I don't sleep much nowadays. It's near midday, so you'd best be on your way to the palace, Seth. I'm not much help to you, I know. That's not true, Actian. If only I had more friends like you. Folks are scared, lad. They don't know what's going on. They'll obey Creon because they must obey someone. I'm afraid of what he and those priests can do. I'll stop him. Whatever it takes, I'll stop him. Listen, lad. If ever you need to leave the island to escape or seek out somebody, come and see me.
somewhere, are you? Bound to be, isn't he, Silken? <coughs> Learned a lot of things, hasn't he, Silken? <coughs> Do you know where it is? Play a game. No worries, there's Silken. <coughs> Play a game. Not hard. Rat has to ring the bell at the bottom. That's all. You push the button, Seth. Start with the bottom one on the right. Only so much time, see? Better hurry. Very good. Want to see the tree of the first, is that it? You know where that is, don't you? Silken knows. Don't you, Silken? <laughs> Roots growing higher than the tower of the sun. Funny, that. You'll have to look under the royal seat. The royal seat? Won't be easy. Have to get past a few bad people first. No other way. Ready, Silken? Catch! Need that before long. Seth was brave, but it wasn't enough. Could he have slipped through his enemies? Who can tell? You! That's the traitor! Stop him! Still playing tricks, Seth. You're a fool to come here. Seth's bravery wasn't enough. If only he'd found a way to slip into the throne room. You! That's the traitor! Stop him! Still playing tricks, Seth. You're a fool to come here. the bad people. Now, look under the royal seat.
Precious queen. Disappeared. She never arrived. You think I know where she went? Do you? I don't believe she's dead. I'd have noticed that. Well, you may find her one day. How? Where? That's not important for the moment, boy. Looking at you, you can smell the power of Creon. He's what's important. Abu was harmless enough, but this sad of theirs, a greedy little upstart. Please, how can I stop Creon if I don't find Rhea? She's the only one the people will follow. They won't listen to me. The past. The past. That's the road to follow. The end is in the beginning, child. What are you talking about? This. Start there, at that place. Find a bird priestess to take you. <laughs> Seth, what news? Ray is not in the palace. What now? You're in danger, lad. Creon's men will hunt you down. You know that. Creon's going to have himself crowned king. A king in Atlantis? And Creon? These are bad times, Seth. And they can only get worse. Do you know a place whose sign is a white bear? No. That's something a pilot would know. I need a flyer, and someone to sail it. I thought you might. I have a daughter, Seth. Her name is Anna. That's her portrait. The image of her mother, and every bit as impulsive. She's a priestess, and a pilot. You get your hands on a flyer, and she'll help you. It could be dangerous, Actium. She'd jump at the chance to do something useful, lad. Creon has no love for Amu or her priestesses. Is she here on Atlantis? In the town. The priestess pilots aren't in the palace these days. I don't know where they're housed exactly. I'll find them. This might come in handy. It was her mother's crystal.
I be of service? I'm here to find a girl called Anna. Anna? Yes, she's here. An insolent brat. In need of severe retraining. Bring her to me. Um... My orders are that nobody may leave without written orders. The girl has come to His Majesty's attention. He wishes to amuse himself with her. I quite understand, sir. But my orders... Am I to tell Creon that you refuse? Anna! Come here. She'll be here directly. Are you sure His Highness... I mean His Majesty... wishes Anna? I can suggest some girls more willing to accommodate his... needs. He prefers them a little wild. He enjoys breaking their will. Oh yes, of course. He's so masterful. Who are you? My name is Lona, sir. I have the privilege to train our priestesses in the new ways of humility. Our arrogant belief in the false goddess Amu must be replaced with fervent worship of glorious Sat, whose shining rays give life to all. Of course. About time, too. Indeed, sir. Here she is now. There you are, Anna. You wanted to see me? You're a very lucky girl. This handsome soldier is taking you to see His Majesty. His Majesty? I didn't know we had a king. Anna! I'm sorry, sir. I warned you about her. When should I expect her back? That's for Creon to decide. I can't wait to see Creon. Anna, I've got something to tell you. I'd love to hear it. Some other time. <clears throat> Ow. Oh no, where's she gone? You! Nobody told you? No. What did he send you for? Use your head, Servage. Creon didn't send him. Creon wants that girl for tonight. And he wants her in good condition. But I thought... That's a funny story, companion. Listen. You heard that Rhea escaped from Carbonek? Uh, yeah. That was me. I took her out of there. I thought so. And now she's dead. I killed her on Creon's orders. Now, why would His Majesty come up with a complicated plan like that? Killing Rhea would have been a very simple thing to do. Isn't it obvious? If she'd been killed by a soldier, Creon would be a murderer. This way, he was protecting her at Carbonek when her enemies broke in and stole her away. Creon looks completely innocent. That's right! Hold on. I admit it's possible, but I still don't believe it. It stands to reason, Gosselos. The priestess is upstairs with Meljans and Lescoit. Servage, this has gone on long enough. If you can't control your friend, you'll both be in more trouble than you could ever imagine. This is the king's business, man. He's bluffing, Servage. Don't listen to him. I'm deadly serious. I'm going up those stairs. If Garcelos makes a move or says a word, you're to kill him. 
kill him. Creon has no pity for traitors, my friend. You should know that. I'm no traitor, Seth. You can count on me. In the name of Saak! Don't force me to kill you, Gosselos. Didn't you hear? Amu's not a goddess anymore. You better learn a little respect. For you? He's got a bunch, you know. You need friends right now, don't you? Cleon is expecting me. What was that? That was two dimwits downstairs. I'll go check. Seth! Seth's luck had run out. No one knows how long he survived in Creon's jails. What was that? That was two dimwits downstairs. I'll go check. What's happening down there? Nothing. I, uh, shouted. What for? Well, I, uh, felt like it. Feeling better now? Yes, thank you, my boy. Keep it quiet, will ya? There you are. What are you doing? Checking. Good spies always check, Servage. Remember that. I had to knock out Gosselos. I wasn't able to kill him, though. He's my friend. Yes, disposing of friends can be a problem. Well, it's time I got the girl. Mel Jans and Lascoy think you're a traitor. Want me to come with you? Whatever you say, Seth. They don't know who you really are, Seth. Maybe I should go in there with you. Whatever you say, Seth. Seth, hello, Seth. Fool! Seth had walked in unprepared. Escape had been hopeless. He would never know what fate awaited Anna. Whatever you say, Seth. Seth! He's a spy, Mel Jams. I know that, you fool! What's he doing here? No, he's working for Creon. He's here for the girl. I warn you, don't try to stop him. Are you out of your mind, Servage? Kill him! His Majesty's waiting, my friend. He's counting on your loyalty. If you don't kill this traitor, Servage, I will! You don't understand, Melge. We understand perfectly. Where's Garcilos? Uh, he's, uh... He disobeyed Creon's orders, and Servage bravely did his duty. Sa'ak, so give me patience. Servage, this is the last time I'll tell you! Uh... It's not that simple, Mel Jans. I'm not sure. His Majesty's waiting, my friend. He's counting on your loyalty. Yeah, I know my duty, Seth. If they move, I'll kill him. Don't you see he's fooling you, Servage? Servage, you brainless idiot. I order you to kill the traitor. You're a good man in a crisis, Servage. You, girl. Come on. Maybe I ought to come too. You'll be sorry for this, Servage. Meljans, try to understand. I have my duty. Idiot! You will obey my orders. Kill him or I will. This means promotion for you, Servage. Captain of the Palace Guard, you'll be giving the orders. Servage, Captain of the Guard? Kill him now, you fool. And you might save your miserable skin. Silence! Take the girl, Seth. I'll handle matters here. If you think I'm going with you, you're wrong. Please, for your father's sake, follow me. You know my father? He's a friend. I'll explain once we're safe. All right. I'll follow. Now, what's my father got to do with one of Creon's bullies? friend of your father's. My father doesn't give his friendship easily, companion. He said you'd fly me to the place of the white bear. Why should I believe you know him? My mother's crystal! How did you get it? Your father gave it to me. Why? So you'd help me. All right. 
Suppose I believe you. What's this all about? I saved Rhea at Carbonek, but I lost her. You lost her? I was supposed to meet her at your father's cabin, but she never arrived. Do you know where to start looking? I need you to fly me to the place of the White Bear. Why? Is that where she is? I don't know. Then why go there? Because I think I may find out something there. Do you mean find out where she is? Maybe. Or maybe a way to fight Creon. Mm. And suppose I agree to help you? About time. Two problems, companion. One, this crystal's not mine. It's my mother's. Does that mean you can't use it? How should I know? I can't tell until I've tried it with a flyer. Um, well, give me patience. And the other problem? I don't think Creon soldiers will give us a flyer. We won't ask them to. Oh, we're just going to stroll up to the hangar and help ourselves, is that it? That's it. This should be interesting. There's a guard outside. Wonderful! I think he marches up and down between this entrance and the entrance to the hangar. If there's only one, why not knock him over the head? Because if anyone else came along while we were in the hangar, they'd give the alarm. Hmm. Any ideas? Maybe. We're going up in that. Come on. You might enjoy it. Somehow, I doubt it. probably run into guards. I don't think they know me up here. They don't have to know me. I'm a woman. I noticed. Women aren't allowed to fly anymore. Saat doesn't like it. If I'm seen up here, we'll both be entertaining Creon this evening. That is a problem. What if you scouted around on your own while I stay here? Stop. You're not allowed up here. Only men loading His Majesty's barge. Go away, friend, before I lose patience. Haven't you heard? Only officers talk to a guard on duty. Go away, friend, before I lose patience. Stop. You're not allowed up here. Only men loading His Majesty's barge. Go away, before I lose patience. Haven't you heard? Only officers talk to a guard on duty. Here's my idea. A bag. You hide inside it. Is that the best idea you found? Yep. I hate it. Are you sure you want me to do this? Remind me to put you in a bag someday. No. I'd better get her on board a flyer first. What have you got in that bag? What's it look like? Uh, let me see. Like, somebody inside a bag. Yes, but who? Uh, a woman. You're good at this. Now, any idea which woman? How should I know? Could be anyone. I'll give you a clue. 
Someone royal who recently went missing? You don't mean... Shh. Secret information, friend. But I heard she escaped. That's what everybody heard. Oh, very clever. And he's putting her on his flyer? A little trip out to sea, then splash. Splash? Tragic, isn't it? <laughs> Heartbreaking. <laughs> well, the secret's safe with me. It better be. doing on my flyer it's all right i can explain everything it was too late for explanations what have you got in that what's uh, how should i'll get you Shh, but that on a little splat <laughs> Don't ask me to do that again. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? I told you, a place with a white bear. Let me see. Come on, Anna! I told you, this was my mother's crystal. I need time to harmonize. Well, concentrate. I'm trying to, only you keep interrupting. Hey! What are you doing? That's my flyer! Guards! Guards! Are you sure this is where you wanted to go? The symbol was a white bear. The only white bear I learned was this one. You've been here before? No, it doesn't work like that, Seth. There's a kind of map in my head. That's what pilots spend four years learning. It's cold. Well, let's get moving. What are we looking for? Don't know. Have you noticed the sky? Hmm, it's beautiful. I think there's a village nearby. Let's try there. A clock, Flamak. Grog, Rumlik. Oh, blind track, Elstro. Oglet, hok druki ak. Mlik. This is hopeless. Mlik. Koldir, Mlik. He wants us to go with him. Somewhere warm, I hope. All right, Kachuk. Mlik. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Jorka no koplut, no kdrul febkalk im joldur, klut frekes krek, krek baim pinchak. Oh, strug dian vok, jok kanglu, a stuk o plutu bazdi. Husta, husta. Mikchuk, gripa, kur, koldi. Thank you, Kochuk. He was just telling us the story of his people, wasn't he? I believe so. It's strange, isn't it? At least they have a history. What do you mean? Well, what do you know about the origins of our people? It's as if we've always been there on Atlantis, as if we never had a beginning. Just us and Amu and Sa'at and the rest of the world filled with primitives. Do you think that's what you're here to learn about? 
About the bear and the monsters? I don't know. Pur Kolgir? Tral Pienyat Horse? As I was saying, Kochuk, your story is fascinating. I wonder what this is. Bodu, Bodu! Atsug! Buda Hilke Grippa! Bartesh! Something tells me I said the wrong thing. Lamdis Ok! Churam Har! Plek Atsug! Oh, my head. Anna? Brackly to Gramsha! Oop, oop. Mm. Oop, 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 oop. No, this won't work. I'll have to find another way. They're still there. No. Let's be intelligent about this, Seth. Gratzolo! Mlikan sense! There was nowhere to run in that wilderness of ice and snow. Seth was put to death, not knowing what had happened to Anna. Oh, my head. Anna? to free Anna first. children, for I am the statue god. Yes, come to life to thank you for the sacrifice you were going to offer me. Stay here for a long time and tremble in fear. I think they like me. Thank you, my children, for your gift. She and I will dwell together in the clouds. Prince Junior! Where are they? They're outside. They think I'm their god. They really are stupid. And dangerous. I hadn't noticed. Take a look in the statue's eye. Why? What did you see? Nothing special. But it's a crystal, 
Maybe you'll see something. No. Nothing. It's a crystal, all right, but it's inactive. Couldn't you activate the statue's eye with your mother's crystal? I'll try. No, wait a moment. There's something... Yes. A six-pointed star floating in the eye. That's it. We found it. a child. Got this? I hope those people are still afraid of you. We'll soon find out. Let's get to the flyer, Seth. I want to leave, Seth. Now. Can we leave this place, please? Seth, these people aren't going to believe in you forever. Can we go now? children. Just give us enough time to fly away. I don't think I'll be needing this mask anymore. Look up there, Seth. That's Creon's barge. He followed us. How could he have? The pilot we stole the flyer from. He must have used his crystal to picture his flyer's position. Anna, what are you doing? He has to be stopped, Seth. You can't! Not like that! You'll be killed! Anna! Anna! where the answers lie. Waste no time. King Creon is learning. Learning from his metal head.
If you move, pilot, I'll slit your throat. Huh? What? Don't talk, my friend. Just listen. We're going on a journey. W where One more sound, and I'll feed you to some hungry friends of mine. Just get on board and take off. I'll tell you where we're going later. What do you think you're gonna find here, Seth? A weapon like Creon's waiting in a cave? Spare me the sarcasm, Jomar. Let's go and explore. You go and explore if you want to. While you stay here? No, I think we'll stick together. After you. Ouch! I hope you weren't planning on going anywhere. What happened? I took this by mistake. When you weren't looking. The Flyer's crystal. You could get yourself killed playing tricks like that, Joma. You won't kill me, Seth. You're not the type. We shall consider the question of standing guard afterwards. Welcome. I'm Holno Lai, King of Paramo, and humble servant of standing guard. You speak our language. Oh, oh, either that or you speak mine. <laughs> you are enemies, am I right? This man, Seth, is a traitor to his king. Oh, uh, why are you a traitor to your king, Seth? We have no king. I'm loyal to my queen. The queen's dead. Are you sure of that, Jomar? It's my duty to punish traitors, naturally. Uh, my wisdom, however, is much too limited for me to judge which of you is lying. Uh, so the crabs must settle the question. The crabs, Your Majesty? Yes, the crabs of destiny. They're on the next level down. Uh, we can go whenever you're ready. The crabs are in no hurry. Standing God! I was sent to find this place. Uh, what does your queen want with me? I wasn't sent by the Queen. No, you weren't. And because there is no Queen. Remarkable. Queen or King? The crabs will settle the question. And now, turn right uh, towards the little stone shed over there. of destiny. Allow me to explain. Each of you chooses one crab and places it anywhere along the start line. The first crab to reach the finish line wins the race. The first of you to win three such races is victorious. The loser is clearly the traitor and will have to face severe punishment, I'm afraid. What exactly is the punishment? Well, well I normally keep that as a surprise. But, uh, since you're strangers, if it's you, Seth, I'll choose the hand of God. If Jomar is the guilty one, uh, the flight of the turtle would be fitting. Are you ready? I have a question. How can crabs judge anything? Well, to be honest, uh, they don't. You do. Uh, you choose them, after all. Uh, I, for example, never lose because my hand always chooses the winning crab. Royal wisdom, you might say. Now. Gentlemen, select your crabs. Place your crab anywhere you wish along the start line. When I say three, release your crabs. One, two, three! Keep going!
faster, faster! Seth won one race. Place your crab anywhere you wish along the start line. When I say three, release your crabs. One, two, three! Keep going! Faster! Faster! Keep going! Faster! Faster! Keep going! Faster! Faster! Seth has won two. Place your crab anywhere you wish along the start line. When I say three, release your crabs. One. Two, three! Keep going! Keep going! Faster! Faster! The flight of the turtle! The crabs of destiny have passed judgment, Jomar. I'm sorry, but the penalty is definitely death in this case. You can't kill me. You're not the type. Jomar, I'm astounded. Well, you're right, of course. But how did you know? The human heart holds no secrets from me, your majesty. A reader of souls! Perhaps you can help me with a certain matter. If I can. I am having trouble with one of my daughters, Naka. She refuses to marry the young man I've chosen for her. I wonder if you'd, um... Uh... Talk with her and then give you my opinion? A privilege, Honolai. Where is the princess? Down in the boat. Come and I'll introduce you. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, Your Majesty. I'm sure you will, dear Jomar. Ah! Ah! Uh, do turtles fly on your island, Seth? No, they don't, Your Majesty. No wings, you see. Eh, that's their problem. You showed me a small statue of standing god. Do your people worship him? No. I was sent to find the place of standing guard. Why? Is your queen his enemy? No, Your Majesty. I came here to learn about him. Hmm. She's not a worshipper of Bird Woman, is she? Bird Woman? No. I will tell you the story of my people, Seth. Long ago, our ancestors were Bird Woman's children. Paranua was her nest. She laid her egg here for us to worship. Its bounty was without limit, and life for our people was easy. But one day, Kalu the fisherman set foot on an island no one had ever seen. It was the kingdom of Stanley God. Having woken the god, the fisherman came back to Paranua. Our ancestors prayed that Standing God would never find the home of the mortal man who had interrupted his sleep. But soon, a great storm came and killed many of our people. And the sacred egg of Bird Woman was hatched by lightning. Standing God had found us, and he took the power away from the egg. Now he was our God, and we feared his anger. The father of my father's father had a statue made in the image of Standing God so that our people could worship him. But they could not stand the God up because he was so angry. Standing God's anger was swift and a sickness fell on Paranua, killing more than half our people. Since then, we sacrifice one of our number each month to appease Standing God and to pay for our sacrifice. Here is Standing God. Uh, not the real one, of course. But his spirit is here. Where is the real Standing God? 
I want to see him. Whoa, much too dangerous. He's too angry. Why? Because our statue does not stand. That is why we sacrifice one of our number every month. To appease the god's wrath. Soon, it'll be my daughter's turn to feed the sharks of chastisement. Naka? Uh, or Samar, a twin. Every day my people pray for the statue to stand, but our prayers go unanswered. Another of your wooden birds, Seth. Friend or foe? <laughs> the crabs can't race twice in one day. Seth! Hector! I was afraid you and the queen were dead. Aha! The crabs chose well. Ah, they always do. I chose the crabs, Your Majesty. They're true, but they directed your choice. I thought I might find you here. Who crashed the big flyer up there? A pilot called Jomar. He's dead. This is His Majesty, King Honalai. My respects, Your Majesty. Welcome to Paranua, Hector. What happened to you and Rhea? When we split up at Carbonek, you were supposed to fly to Atlantis. After we left you at Carbonek, Rhea said she no longer deserved to be queen, since she'd betrayed the secret of the hidden knowledge's whereabouts. Gimbus and the commander forced her to tell them, Hector. I know, but she refused to return to Atlantis. She said she'd forfeited the right to rule, and the destiny of Atlantis lay in other hands. And Creons are in yours. So where did you take her? She told me of a refuge, a place called Shambhala, and asked me to take her there. You say you took Rhea to a place called Shambhala? Tell me more. It's a strange place, Seth. Their queen, who's called Marta, told me that long ago our people lived far to the north in a place of ice and snow. She said you knew the place. Yes, I was there. Some of the people discovered what she called the Dark Heart, and fell under its power. There was a civil war between those who had the Dark Heart and the others. The others won and then they left. Most of them went to Atlantis, taking the Dark Heart which they'd imprisoned. But a handful refused to stay near the thing because it was too dangerous. So they traveled east. And founded Shambhala? Exactly. The people there are different from us. They seem almost unreal, outside of time. Marta said they'll stay hidden from the rest of the world forever. Who's Marta? I told you, the Queen of Shambhala. But why did Rhea want to go to Shambhala? I told you. She didn't think she could be queen again. Then what's she going to do? She's going to stay there. When I left, she'd already half forgotten Atlantis and Creon. Hector, that's not possible. But it's true. When you're there, it's as if the rest of the world didn't exist. You start to forget. Rhea wanted to forget everything, Seth. Even I was starting to forget when Marta told me to follow you here. Did Marta say anything about Creon? She said only you could stop him. If you don't, he'll turn the dark heart on the world. Honolai has two daughters. The princesses Nama and Saka. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, Sama and Naka. Yeah. Uh, soon the crabs must choose which of them will be thrown to the sharks of chastisement. What are you doing to standing guard? I'm trying to get him to stand, Your Majesty. Be careful, Seth. If you hurt him, his vengeance will be awful. But if I can stand him up, will you help me find the real standing guard? The guard Kalu saw? If you can, I will. What I want you to do is use your flyer to stand the statue up. I don't think I can. It's too heavy. Will you try? I'll need help. Someone with me. Concentrate with me, Seth. How? Project the idea of movement into the flyer's crystal. Uh, all right. It's no good, Seth. It started to move, but we didn't have enough power. We can try again if you want. Well, we did.
did what we could. Not enough power, is that the problem? Exactly. My daughter has power. She'll help if we ask her. Wait, Seth, I'll call him. <clears throat> Sama, come out here. Yes, Father? We need your magic, Sama. I have no magic, Father. Naka is the one with power. Uh, oh, so she is. Uh, Naka, come out here. Who are these men, Father? Later, girl. What did I tell you, Seth? They're completely uncontrollable. You wanted me, Father? Ah, Sama, there you are. I'm Naka, Father. Uh, must you enter my lady every time I open my mouth, child? I want you to use your power to help Hector here. He and I are in harmony, Father. Yeah, well, just hop onto the wooden bird and do what Hector says. To help us with the god. Don't tell father I said so. The men are too afraid of standing god to admit their love for bird woman. Naka, you're perfect. I think the same about you, Hector. We're in harmony. This is indeed a great day for our people, Seth. The crabs chose most wisely. They always do, your majesty. The god is no longer angry with the people of Paranua. Standing God showed his mercy and sent you to us. And you needn't sacrifice either of your daughters. We are greatly indebted to you and your friend. I knew you could do it, Hector. Not without Naka, Seth. She's... 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 what? I don't know how to explain. She's... Well... Whatever it is, it worked. Naka, she's... She, she's so... What about her sister? Her sister? Oh no, they're so completely different. Naka's so... So... You wouldn't understand, Seth. Marta said time was short, Seth. So you'd better make up your mind. Will you tell me where the other god is? The one that Kula the fisherman saw. You wish to go there? What if he is angered by your presence? He won't be. He knows we raised the statue. Tell me where to find him, and Hector can fly me there. No, Sama will take you in my boat. I owe you that much. But Hector must stay here. If Standing God shows signs of anger, your friend will be sacrificed to him. Do you agree to this? I can't leave Hector as a hostage, Honolai. Yes, you can, sir. What is there to fear? A storm? Somebody dying? The statue falling down? Anything could happen, and it would be the god expressing his anger. What choice do you have? We can look for the place, Hector. It can't be all that far. We're bound to find it. I won't stop you from leaving if that's what you wish. But I won't tell you where to find Standing God. It could take weeks, Sam. Even months. This ocean is huge. Agree to Honolai's offer. I'm not afraid. Well? Do you accept? Then let's go to the boat. The boat's waiting, Seth. Little time left, child. Burrow down, deep down in the roots. Past holds the future in its hand. Yours, mine, everyone's. Go quickly now. Quickly, you hear me? Naka, come out here. You will stay here with Hector, Naka. Seth and I are going to see Sama. After you, Seth. Sama, 
Uh, you're the one who reads maps? Yes, Father. Good. I want you to take Seth to where the fisherman Kula saw the standing god. Aren't you afraid of his anger, Seth? No, Sama. Naka and Hector raised the statue. Standing God must be pleased. I've never seen the map that leads to that place, Father. It is here, child. Look. It's the map Kula made when he came back. The winds and currents and other islands are all marked. The map is clear, Father. The voyage will take no more than three days. Go then, my daughter. How am I going to leave this place? Creon's lust for power consumes like a blaze in the summer forest. Here in my cave, even I feel its scorching breath. The end is in the beginning, child. swimmer in the sea. Mm -hmm. 
you. I've come because of the statue. I'm trying to learn of the past. The king of another island helped me to come here. That was Creon who attacked me. Will you explain what's happening? Death can be defied, but never defeated. She gives life and takes it. Give me my vision stone. You can give me my vision stone. It is empty. You should defy death once more. It will be good for you. Answer me. Hector? Where are you? I'm on the beach where Sama left you. I can't see you. I'm inside the volcano. Has Standing God been angry? I wouldn't be here if he was. You've been here a week, Seth. What are you doing? A week? I think I've been dead. You don't sound dead. You're not a ghost, are you? I don't think so. Thanks for coming, Hector, but I haven't finished here yet. There's something I wanted to tell you. About Naka? How did you know? Yes, about Naka and me. I want to stay on Paranua with her. That's good, Hector. Honolai will be pleased. But what about you? I can't leave you here. Yes, you can. If I need your help, I'll find a way to call you. How? Go back to Paranua, Hector. You're stretching standing God's patience. If you say so. Well, goodbye, Seth. Say hello to Honolai for me.
Seth, where have you been? Is Anna with you? Actian. Anna's dead. Dead? My Anna? She attacked Creon's barge and was killed. I'm sorry. Oh, Seth. I loved that girl. She was everything to me. What are you planning to do? I have to stop Creon, that's all I know. Aye. You'll have to try, lad. For what he did to Anna. And for what he's done to all of us. He's already sent his ocean fleet to the east to attack the barbarians. I heard tell he plans to follow in the morning. He's been spending all his time flying around in his barge, trying out some weapon he's made. It's the traitor, your majesty! Sad blind him. He can't harm us, your majesty! Harm us? <laughs> Look who's with me, Seth! Your little Anna! Seth! Be careful! I want him dead! Do you hear me? I want him dead! Let's get away from here. Throw him overboard, Miljants! With pleasure, Your Majesty! Look what they did to my flyer! It's completely... Seth, thank Amu you're safe. How come you're a pilot? Where's your crystal? It's a long story. I like the costume, Anna. <laughs> so does Creon. I'm certain he's gone to his talking head, Seth. He's obsessed with it. He won't let anyone else come near it. He keeps it somewhere secret, near the Dolphin Gallery. I'm going after him. This time he has to be stopped. I'm coming too. Please. I'm the only one who can do this, Anna. Go and see your father. He thinks you're dead. I'll wait for you at his cabin. You'd better hurry. The volcano's erupting. Yes, I noticed. I'll come as soon as I can. Seth? Inside the palace. Be careful.
Interesting times, Seth. Me and Silk can think so. Brett's all gone. Left. What do you say to that? Why have they gone? Volcano, see? Sinking ship, aren't we? Rats smell it, see? I'm looking for Creon. Catch him, is that it? Kill old Creon. If I have no choice. No game, Seth. No time for games this time. Can a bony whale see through a dolphin's eye? I don't think so. Not me. Back to its own place, we say. A bony whale with a dolphin's eye? Exactly what I said. Wrong place. Very much so. Need these, you will. A bit later. This is where the loser ends up, Seth. You're the last in a long, long line. Only one place left, you see. That was how I knew Amu's time was clearly over. No room left. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Knowledge is sometimes likened to fire. Where would mankind be without it?